look at Dogecoin. Remember Dogecoin? I told you about Dogecoin. Guys, I mean, you cannot. You can't make this up right here. Like, this was my... The last update. So, let, let me go to the last update. And, um, you know, I think right here we... You know, we get most of the stuff... You know, most of the stuff we get them right compared to... So, I want to play... Yeah, I want to see what I was, what I said. Oh man, what's going on? Of course. Subscribe. Uh subscribe to the channel. You know, this is an update on Dogecoin. You know, I want to see what we talked about. You know, during the last update. And then uh I'll give you a newer one. Dun, 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 dun. Um, the price of Dogecoin. If you haven't watched this video, you know, I highly recommend this resistance right here is because if this thing, you know, from, you know, this type of a loss right here, so this is the reason for a stop loss. You have to manage your risk. If you don't manage your risk, great places, you know, getting into a position like the risking and in terms of in terms of you know what you're risking and in terms of you know, getting into a position like these are great places you know if you're looking to go long to try to you know kind of nibble back you want to nimble you know back into a position right now uh you don't have to go crazy you know all in right now but we have potential support right down in this range right here and since we already down about 22 percent it absolutely wouldn't surprise me to get a day cap bounce so you might get another move you know over the next two to three days you know back to this level right here uh, let's say you were to get in right now, you know, back to that level, you're looking at, you're looking at a 10% move. So that's a really nice trade. And if we go to the four hour time, you know, just to show you what we have right now, you can see what the four hour time frame looks like. We have, the price is, so that was, uh, that was uh, a Dogecoin update from actually from six days ago. Uh, I have a recent one, so that was from six days ago, and um, yeah, I have a, a recent Dogecoin update uh, somewhere around here, uh, six days ago, oh Jesus Christ, man, six days ago, 10 days, six days ago, right here, I think it's right here. So Dogecoin, Dogecoin, Dogecoin. Uh, somewhere around here, the graph. <laughs> Michael Saylor. Sorry, guys, be with me. Um, it's gonna be somewhere. It's gonna be somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. Uh, maybe not in this live stream, but it's gonna be somewhere. So which one was that? That was that. All right, so what about this one from three days ago? It's gonna be somewhere around here. It's got to be somewhere around here. I think what I said in that video was very useful. Uh, very good information, of course. Uh, where is it? Talked about Bitcoin. Talked about Bitcoin. Holy smoke, only Bitcoin. You got to be kidding me. Only Bitcoin. Wow. I know I did an update. I absolutely did an update. I just can't remember where. But anyway, guys, I mean, you can see, right? I, I haven't changed anything, right? So I was looking for the update that has, you know, exactly what you see right here. But anyway, so, I mean, we was very, 
you know, very spot on that we were going to see a bounce. Uh, here's the bounce. The question is now, I mean, where do we go from here, right? Uh, I mean, guys, exactly, you know, exactly right here. So I think the one that I just played is exactly the update I was talking about. So we did get a day cap bounce and uh, I mean, exactly the target. Because if you go back and you look at this video, oh, I should have kept it up. Uh, this is the one right here. So this is the one actually. Dang. Dang. There you go. Yep. So you can see, right, in terms of targets, uh, if you look at the chart of Dogecoin, I mean, you can't make this up, guys. I mean, just look at this. Exactly, right? If I go back right here, I mean, I hate to say exactly, but. I mean, you can see right in this video right here, you know, 10 per 11 per se move actually. Uh, just look at the levels. You come back, you look at the chart of Dogecoin. I mean, exactly, you can't make this stuff up. So, anyway, that is Dogecoin. Uh, maybe tomorrow I'll do another, uh, not tomorrow, Sunday, I'll do another update on Dogecoin. But uh, when you get something like this, you have to take advantage. Because you don't get, you know, you don't get, uh, you don't get opportunities like this many often. So you have to make sure that you capitalize. Uh, we, I mean, we talked about, you know, Jasmine, Dogecoin, and a bunch of these other projects. So we talked about so much today. Uh, something else that I also wanted to talk about is micro strategy. Micro strategy Bitcoin has turned positive for the first time in 10 months in 10 months for the first time in 10 months their investment in bitcoin is positive i mean this is this is very bullish for michael saylor and micro strategy i mean not only are they making money from you know the fact that <laughs> Yeah, Bitcoin investment is actually positive. Now, I want you to take a look at the performance of their stock, right? Just look at their stock right here, guys. Like, you want to know what's crazy? Prior to their Bitcoin purchase, let me show you MicroStrategy performance. MicroStrategy, it, it was basically a pump and dump during the, the 2000 dot com bubble. The stock went from absolutely nothing, you know, all the way up to 2000, Jesus Christ, all the way up to $3,000. And uh, it crashed back to around $3. And it spent about two decades. It spent two decades, you know, trading. I mean, the highest was around. The highest in 20 day, I mean, excuse, no, not 20 decades, in 20 years, uh, which is two decades, was the highest price was uh, $226. And that was in 2014. From 2017 up to 2020, uh, the stock was basically flat, you know, trading around $100. What you have right here, this was after they purchased Bitcoin. Uh, remember, I said this and I'm going to say this again. These type of stocks are going to benefit from, you know, Bitcoin and the overall cryptocurrency market. And the reason is because there is a lot of investors that are very nervous, right? They don't want to take on a lot of the risk right? that, is that is associated with you know bitcoin and you know crypto and also because of regulators right because of the regu uh, of the regulation they legally they can't invest in crypto right and because of that right the only way for them to capture you know some of some of the the, the performance you know some of the volatility 